TSPN. Thank you very much, and I would like to welcome Laura with us today. We're going to be talking about reading, how important reading is, and uh, starting at a young age, and uh, hopefully that a lot of parents out there are starting their children off very early, even if they can't read themselves. Read a, read a book to them, even if it's a page a day. It's important for your child to learn about text, because that's what they're going to be using their whole life. That's very true, especially the most important years are zero to third grade when a child is learning how to read. Mm -hmm. um, once they get past third grade, they're reading to learn. So it's critical that during that zero to third grade time period that children are able to read and understand what they are reading. Now, Laura, we've, we've talked about this just a few minutes ago, that there are kids even graduating from junior high and high school that have a reading capability of like a third grader, and that's, that's unexcusable. It's, it is. It's very unfortunate. But luckily, the library does have a literacy program where we can assist children um, that may have fallen through the cracks. Mm -hmm. um, our program is an adult literacy program, and it assists children or, um, or adults, young adults, ages 16 and over um, with uh, reading, comprehension, spelling, and also with digital literacy, which is extremely important in this job market. Sure. Because if you don't know how to use a computer or your skills aren't adequate enough, you're not going to even be able to apply for a job because sure. most applications are now I know online. there's people out there that still have never turned on and used a computer. Well, that, that's true. And, and we do see those people sure. every day. Sure. And then, of course, uh, you know, and, and kids, they're, they're great because they love the technology, mm -hmm. which I think is great because that's... It, you know, every year something new, they have to learn something new because technology is evolving all the time. It is. So it's very, very important for them to learn that. But um, it starts with the ABCs, the simple, the simple text and reading that. And, and I think that um, taking the kids to the library is probably one of the most exciting things I used to do with my kids all the time. They had the reading corner and then we'd check out books and um, they always had a book in their hand. Mm -hmm. So I really feel that that's very, very important. But um, I know that you have a lot of <clears throat> things that you offer and I'd like you to tell our viewers what, what, you're, what you're offering now. Well, one of the most important things that you can have is a library card and September is library card sign up month. Mm -hmm. And with your library card, which is free, there are many free services that are available to you both inside the library and online. Oh, great. So I thought I might go over some top ten library services sure. that you may not be aware that we have. One is an online catalog, which means that you can look up books remotely from your home. The other is we do, if you're doing genealogy, uh -huh. we have Ancestry.com inside the library. Oh, how exciting. So, Anne, let's say you love to read, but you can't always make it into the library. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we do offer books, uh, e-books, downloadable e-books online, so you can actually go online and download those. And if you're confused about how they work with your device, you can always give us a call or stop by the library with your device, and we'll be more than happy to assist you uh, oh, in great. learning how to, to download Now, is there these. a certain time period, and then they download it back? Is that, is that how you return? Um, you can actually set the length of time in which you would like to have your material out for, and you have three options. One is seven days, one is 14, and the last one is 21 days. Okay. And if you should finish prior to that time, you can return the ebook if someone oh, else great. has access to it. That's great. You can also go online and look at your library account, mm -hmm. and you can see what you have out. You can renew your books. You can place holds. And if there's something that you would like that the library does not have, um, you can also ask us to request it from another library, which we do free oh, of charge. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I think people f seem to forget, when, when I was growing up and when, when I was raising my children, the library was the place to go. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of people kind of put it in the back because of, of their mind because they don't think that it's important anymore. But they forget that libraries are, are up on the latest um, technology. And especially like with the Ancestry.com, uh, that's a wonderful you know, a wonderful program to have there because a lot of people don't have the, the means 
or the funds to go in and to check things out. So I think this is great. Yes, that's and it really, yes, and it really helps people too in finding out about their family and their family histories. Absolutely, so. I think that's great. And then what else do you have? Well, we also, as I mentioned to you, we have the one-on-one -on -one adult tutoring and reading, writing, mm -hmm. and basic computer skills. And we also help with online testing, GED test preparation, with online applications if someone is coming in and they need assistance with applying for a job mm -hmm. or, or on the other side applying for unemployment or if um, they need assistance with going online and updating their license or their license information through DMV. And all of that um, is available to you. So you're a one-stop shop, right? We really are. And that, really I think are. that's great because a lot of people don't know uh, that you know that they can do that. And there are some people out there that um, unfortunately don't have the skills. And um, this opens up a whole new door. And you know, it's a, don't ever say, oh, I'm embarrassed or whatever. Don't do that because that's what they're there for. They're there to help you. And I think that's great. Now, I want you to tell us about the hours and if you, they have any questions where they can reach you and where are all your locations. Okay, well, we have five locations. There's the main library, which is located in Jackson. Right. And we're open Monday and Tuesday from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Wednesday, 10 to 7. Thursday and Friday, 10 to 5. Um, and then we are also located in Pioneer, Pine Grove, Plymouth, and Ione. So there's no excuse. That's right. <laughs> there is. And online. Plymouth. And online. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if anybody has any books that they would like to donate, can they do that? Yes, they can. We just ask that they be in sellable condition. Okay. And that they, if it's a small amount, they can bring them by their, their local library. Okay. If it's a larger amount, um, and usually what I mean by large amount, several boxes, um, we ask that they, they can contact the library directly and then we will get them in contact with one of the members of the Friends. And then the Friends can meet them at their storage location where oh, they have great. more room great. to accommodate the good, larger good. So donations. If you, have any, if you have any books that are in really good condition, please uh, let them know and bring it to them. And we have, the Friends of the Library have an upcoming book sale, which is going to be for members night only, or if you'd like to come and join, okay. uh, Friday, October 17th from 4 to 7 p.m., Saturday, October 18th from 10 to 5, and Sunday, October 19th from 11 to 3. Wonderful. It's Laura, thank you region. so very much for enlightening in all of this. And please get down there because um, the library is there to help you, and um, we can help them by giving them some, some good books. So thank you very much, Laura. With that, we're going to go over to Cam and our next guest.